So today we're going to be updating an Optiplex 380 that already has a quad, a two core quad in it. And it's got four gigs of RAM running Windows 10. It has a display adapter of sorts in it, but we're going to be put putting the GT710. Now this isn't no extreme gaming type card. You aren't going to get, you know, some super speeds or be playing, you know, all the AAA titles. This is simply to be able to get, you know, high def on, you know, a lot of like streaming, a lot of stuff. Um, and be able to keep the computer being somewhat, you know, functional for day-to-day -day use, um, you know, for the average person. And this should do it. Now, you could go with the, um, the 1030. Um, basically, uh, anything, you know, the GT line, it doesn't require all the wattage because, well, you need... Can only use 25 watts. Right. Yeah. There we go. And this, uh, this is a very simple card. I like it a little. <laughs> I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> You got so many cards or it's just like a piece of plastic or whatever, so I really took the time to label it. That's nice. As you can see, black PCB board, you know, real, real simple. Now, they give you, they give you different ones of these, which with an Octiplex, you will most likely be using. The cool thing is, is you can disconnect the VGA. So you can take this whole thing off and just take the, the VGA off and just use your HDMI or DVI ports, um, which obviously has a better, you know, signal, all of that. But, uh, yeah, like I said, very simple card, uh, two gigs of RAM, nothing, you know, but you can do some, you know, some, some like gaming and stuff like that. I mean, you know, but this isn't, you know, to uh, make your Optiplex do triple triple A titles, I would recommend that the highest you go myself um, with an Optiplex to you know to be worth spending the money or at the aggravation is to maybe go up to a 1030 and beef up your RAM because if you already got a quad core in there, you've already maxed out your CPU, then the only route you really have now is to beef up your video card so um, and your and your RAM to try to max out your RAM I believe um, the max out I think is is 8 or 16 I can't remember but um, at any rate even with 4 gigs of RAM the 2 gigs of onboard RAM that this has you should be doing um, pretty good alright so here we are with our Dell Optiplex 380. Now, I had gotten a low profile card, but it's not necessarily obviously because of a slim system, because you can put regular sized cards, it's because you can only draw 45, I mean 25 watts from the uh, PCI slot. You cannot hook any other power up to the cord, the um, display adapter. Now this is just a regular little um, AMD Radeon um, display adapter. It's got a gig of RAM. It's, it's done its job. It's good for what it's what it's for. But now that there's a there's been a quad core processor in there, which is the highest um, that it can go, a two core quad is what it is actually, 
And now that we have a newer card, we can uh, we can update it a little bit and get a little bit more spunk out of it. But we're not looking to to do a bunch of gaming or anything like that. Mostly looking to um, run some programs that need DirectX 12, um, which this has gone as far as it can go on the DirectX. So we're going to take this out. One of the things to <laughs> remember is this little damn clip that holds these in. I love this design because it makes it really easy to... Um, take the cards out but if you don't know about clips there you'll be looking for them for a minute. All right so there we are AMD Radeon nothing special but they they're cheap you can find them for next to nothing and they they work they have display port and uh, DVI uh, there looks like they're could be a place for uh, VGA which is like on the other one but so now is our brand new MSI 710 except nothing nothing special or drastic we could do a 1030 I believe but I'm going to save that for another time Like I said, it draws every bit of its power from the PCI slot, so you cannot hook. Um, there's other ways. If you look at like Linus Tech Tips, they've done some pretty uh, neat things to get around some of these uh, obstacles and stuff. But at the end of the day, um, they really kind of just came back to you know going with the GT series um, type card and beefing up your RAM. We could we could still update this RAM. We're only at four gigs right here. Um, so we're nothing special um, in the RAM department. That will probably uh, be the next thing down the road. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. So anybody wondering um, about a, uh, a GT710 inside a 380 Optiplex, well, ta-da. Right. Moment of truth. We have video. Now, you should, uh, obviously, you gotta go install all the, uh, correct drivers and all that. I recommend going right to um, MSI's uh, website or you can use the uh, yeah they didn't even provide a disc with these so it's probably ready to go out of the box but you obviously want to go to the site and get it all updated and do what you need to do now obviously we're gonna run um, a uh, you know a few tests and all that and see if everything is working correctly and then uh, boom there we go now remember this does come with the the brackets for um, a slimmer style case 
so it is totally made to put into a a smaller unit now when you're getting your drivers you want to go to nvidia.com and you'll be presented with this page and you can put in what you have for a graphics card and it will give you all the correct drivers and everything you need and then you simply download those drivers and install <laughs> yeah. so I hope this video was helpful you like what you saw comment like subscribe all that good stuff thanks for watching have a great day